All right, good morning and thank you all for being here. My name is Paul Luali. I'm the president and CEO of Friends of Youth. And this is really a great day for Friends of Youth. And I really have some people I have to thank for this, for having this special occasion. Uh, I First of all, I'd like to thank all the volunteers who worked on the Solarize campaign. Uh, Whoever is here from the Solarize campaign, thank you very much for, for doing this. I'd like to thank the mayor, Mary Lou, as far as just working with Friends of Youth over time and over the years and making sure that Friends of Youth is here and can serve the people as we should. Uh, Northwest Electrical, anyone here from Northwest Electrical? Thank you very much for this project and for the great solar panels we have. And anyone here from Spark Northwest? All right, so Spark Northwest. Uh, so this is a not-for-profit that has been promoting uh, non-renewable systems for a long time. And thank you very much, Spark. This is actually our second installation. So we have one in Kirkland, so this is the second time we're doing this. Now, a little bit about Friends of Youth and what we do. Uh, this office here is our Issaquah office, and we provide counseling services for uh, mental health, we provide uh, counseling services for drug and alcohol abuse, a lot of behavioral health issues. We work closely with the school district and we've been here since 1996. And the reason why we've been here since 1996 is because this community has grown and the city and the community has actually wanted us to be here, allowed us to be here and have supported us as we've been here. And this is a perfect example of the Solarize campaign as far as, as, far as how do we make it more efficient for Friends of Youth to do the work they do. And we are very, very grateful. And I can't say thank you enough to all the people who are gathered here today for allowing us to be Friends of Youth and do the things we do as far as helping youth and families grow personally and achieve success in their lives. I'm gonna invite Mary Lou, the mayor, to come and say a few things. Thank you very much. Thank you. Last year, the city hosted a Solarize campaign to help bring solar energy to homes in Issaquah. The campaign brought together neighbors to save time and money through the group purchase of solar systems. 17 homes in our city participated in the program. One of those homes is mine, and I can't say enough good things about it. Thank you. It produces clean energy, and it saves money, and it looks great. These 17 systems brought 142.5 kilowatts of solar to the city, which has avoided 156,750 pounds of carbon. In addition, we held four community workshops, which helped educate over 130 people on the benefits and process for going solar. Now, as I stand here with Paul today and all of you, I'm excited to celebrate the city's newest solar installation. We are so delighted that Friends of Youth was a recipient of the solar campaign's community donated system. Funds earned by the city for our participation in Puget Sound Energy's green, Ener green Power Program have been donated to support the system. Friends of Youth is an organization that puts youth and families first. They provide essential services in our community to those who need it most. This system will help offset their energy bills so more resources can be funneled back into the organization to do the important work that they do. This prominent location of the system will provide both educational opportunities to our youth and serve as a reminder for all of us about the importance of renewable energy and sustainable energy in our community. I'm so excited this is on Front Street. I'm so excited that everybody can see it as they walk and drive by. The city also takes sustainability seriously. The city has goals to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions both community-wide and in our city operations. In 2017, the city enrolled in Puget Sound Energy's Green Direct program and we are now committed to purchasing renewable energy for 95% of city operations. The city also recently achieved Soul Smart Gold designation, recognizing our efforts to make it faster, easier and more affordable for residents to install solar energy. As part of this work, we streamlined our internal process so you do not even need a building permit to install a standard solar energy system on your home. This differentiates us from many other communities. As a result of the city's work and our community's dedication to the environment, we have nearly 150 installations in the city producing one megawatt of solar. Lastly, I want to share a few thanks to those who helped us make this campaign a success. A very special thanks to our community volunteers who worked hard behind the scenes to select our installation partner and promote the campaign. 
Thank you, volunteers. They attended several events in the city last year, including the Farmer's Market and our summer concert series to tell people about the campaign. I also want to thank nonprofit Spark Northwest for their help with the campaign and their dedication to bringing renewable energy to both our region and locally here in Issaquah. Jill Eichenhorst from Spark Northwest is here today. Th thank you also to Friends of Youth for the important work work investing in the sustainability of our community. Next up today is Heather from Puget Sound Energy. Good morning and I'm so thrilled to be here to celebrate this beautiful installation today. I always love seeing these projects come to fruition um, and bring solar, more solar energy to our communities, but especially when they're benefiting nonprofits where those energy savings can be turned back into the primary function of that organization. So this is really a great project and we were really happy to be a part of it. Um, as the mayor mentioned, uh, this is the result of, of two campaigns, successful campaigns here in Issaquah. The first happened in 2014 when we partnered with the city on a green power challenge where we asked residents and businesses to enroll in our voluntary green energy programs. We had over 180 people enroll in that program and we now have um, over 1,600 participants here in Issaquah supporting that. So their dollars going towards renewable energy have helped to make this system possible. So thank your friends and neighbors who are participants in that program. In addition, all of the folks who participated in the Solarize campaign and put solar energy on their own home made this possible by reaching the goals that were set by the program and adding to what is now 8,500 customers across PSE's territory who have solar on their home or business, representing 70 megawatts of power on our system, which is really phenomenal. So I'm thrilled to see this project added to that count um, and to be here in Issaquah, where we have a great partnership on moving towards sustainability with all of these programs. Um, so thank you for inviting me. And I want to introduce Joan Shramick from um, Northwest Electric and Solar. Great. Yes, I'm Joan Shramick with Northwest Electric and Solar. We did the solar installation here. And I have to say it was so much fun this past year to work with the community, to work with Spark Northwest and the city, to meet all the people who came to the workshops and to meet all the homeowners whose homes we evaluated for solar, gave a solar proposal to, and then the ones who did go solar and helped to contribute to this installation. It was a blast, so thank you very much. Um, a little bit about this. Since this is an educational organization, I thought I'd throw out a little bit of education. There are 40 solar panels on the roof. The solar panels were made by uh, Mission Solar, which is in Texas. And that's um, a company that, was, that makes solar, has been making solar panels for a while, but it wasn't one of the options we gave to the homeowners, but it was a really good option at the time this solar installation went in, which was in April this year. So 40 solar panels create direct current electricity. That current needs to be turned into AC current, alternating current electricity, and that's done by an inverter. So all the wiring carries the electricity to an inverter that's on the back side of the house that's right next to the um, meter that, that goes to the um, utility, to PSE. At the inverter, it goes from AC, uh, DC to AC, and then all the solar electricity is measured on a new meter that's added to the building, a production meter. That tells us all the solar electricity that's produced. Um, at the inverter level that I just mentioned, there's also optimizers. And because of the optimizers and the inverter, there is available to us online monitoring. And we can check and see every single solar panel and what its output is in terms of electricity on a daily, monthly, and annual basis. And so we can check up on the solar system and make sure it's really working. And then the last part is called the net meter. The net meter is the way that the electricity that is generated in the summertime gets banked at, for credits and stored <laughs> and then is use, available to use in the wintertime. So the bill credits that add up, add up for the summer are available to reduce the electric bill in the winter. 
This solar system is going to generate about 13,800 kilowatt hours a year, and that's going to offset about 80 to 90 percent of the electric bill here. And so we're really thrilled to be able to put that all together so that Friends of Youth can have a lower electric bill going forward and be more sustainable. Thank you. Thank you to all the people who helped with this project. And it is going to save us a lot of money. And that money in return, we can use it towards servicing a community. And a community is only about people. I think I like to say that. A community is about people, the people who invest in that community, who benefit from the returns of that. So this is a great investment. Thank you all for that investment. And we are making an investment into the future. So we're going to come around here to this ribbon and have the ribbon cutting.